Hey guys, welcome back to the Plutonia Experiment walkthrough on the ultra-violence difficulty for the PC, played through Z-Doom. I'm Big Mac Davis, and this is Map 13, The Crypt. Alright, so when you start, there will be, like, four lost souls in the starting room, so take care of them all. And I hate lost souls, but then again, who doesn't? There are two switches in this room that you must press both of them to lower both parts of the door, because see, pressing only one only lowers one part of the door. So press both of the switches. Make sure to kill all the imps in this room first, so that they don't cause problems for you later on. Alright, now be careful when you grab this yellow key. We have enough plasma to spare, so let's go ahead and use some. Yeah, four mancubi. You can take care of them. Um, yeah, basically, torch soak. We learned that in map 12 speed, didn't we? Yes, we sure did. Alright, so once all four mancubi are dead, you can grab the health and ammo around this room and the luscious mega armor. Yes, indeed. Face the blue bars here. Now, to the left and right are yellow doors. We'll open up the right yellow door first. Have your chain gun ready as you enter inside because you want to kill off these shotgunners across the way as fast as you can and the imps and the lost souls. Once all those guys are dead, now you can switch back to your super shotgun or you can even use rockets if you want to and take care of all the cacodemons. And die. Well, that didn't go too badly, didn't take a whole lot of damage in this section, so moving on. Now, this is not a teleporter, it's actually a lift. At the bottom, just be careful of that, of that area. You don't want to get, you know, as I always say it, sandwiched between the two. It's never a good thing. On the right side, you can grab some health if you need it, but be careful as you venture past the left side because there's some chain gunners so take care of them all. It's pretty easy. Infighting, alright. Let's see who wins this matchup. It was the Arachnatron, alright, so he won. So we'll venture inside this open room, grab the couple boxes of rockets. Now notice how we can't access the blue teleporter. It's too high up for us to reach right now. Head back the way we came, and then head into this small area. Be careful in this cramped area with the Baron of Hell. I just like to let him come outside, so that I can easily take care of him from here. Because it's kind of cramped inside there. Alright, so head up the ladder from where, you know, he was standing. Grab the shotgun shells and the health if you need it. Now, at the top of the stairs is an arch vial that will raise up from the ground. So basically have the BFG ready, then fire at him just like this, then switch back to your chain gun. No, I don't want the rocket launcher! Damn! That's... I wanted to switch to the chain gun. That's never a good thing when you're right in front of chain gunners and you switch to the wrong frickin' weapon. Ouch, that's all I gotta say about that. I thought I was gonna die there for a couple seconds, but nope. Alright, so head inside this area. We're gonna use the chainsaw, because we haven't used it, you know, in quite a bit. Chainsaw through these two specters. Then grab the health in this area. And, oh, there's some health up here. How awesome is that? There's a weapon pile here, so grab all that, and the health. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is fall down this blood fall. Now, when you do, immediately run to the right side. Then flip the switch, then run back to the left side to this lowered pillar with your only secret. With a, um, soul sphere on it. It's your only secret. Now, notice how this has lowered. So we can take it to the blue key. Now, you can make this jump back across. You have to strafe run, though. If you don't strafe run, you end up doing like that and you fail it. If you end up failing it, just come back to this lift and ride it back up. It's not that difficult to do. 
Go back through the door, and then just run straight forward towards this yellow door. Now from here, you can take out a lot of the gunners down below so you don't have to deal with them later on. It's not really necessary, but it's kind of a fun thing to do. Kind of just snipe them off from this vantage point. Alright, that should be good enough, I think. Now when you approach the blue door, open it, but immediately back up, because... Yeah, notice how he was, uh... Um, teleporting. And we have a chain gunner behind us, but that's okay, he didn't manage to hit us. Alright, so once the Baron's dead, flip the switch, which will actually lower the blue bars in this room. So now we can head past them. And from here, we can take care of the remainder of the gunners that we were firing at from above. Not too many of them left behind. Now what I do in this next part, when you enter the room, I just back up and... Yeah, basically do that. Now notice how two of the revenants teleported. They teleported in the main area in there. So be careful of that. Just basically fire rockets at them. And if they teleport, well, you know, just take care of them when they come for you. Oh, <laughs> all right now, they're both dead. Next thing we're gonna do is just run out and hide, because there's two arch vials up there. Then hide in front of the door. Yeah, kind of a tight squeeze there. See that switch there? Switch to the BFG. When you flip the switch, fire, and you'll see why. Run forward, flip the switch, fire your BFG, turn back around, kill that arch vial. That's why I said to fire as you flip the switch. Now one note about this area, it's okay if you take damage in this section. They give you a Megasphere shortly. So don't worry about, you know, taking too much damage because, um, well, you just don't need to worry. But if you are low on health, like below 100%, yeah, maybe be a little bit more careful than I am, but, you know... I got over 100%, so... whatever. Alright, now to take care of the remainder of the two arch vials. Yeah, there's three arch vials in this section. This one guards that Megasphere. And you're dead. And you know what, because... Yeah, go ahead and... Yeah, that pain feels good. Do it again. Light Daddy on fire. Yeah, it feels good. Alright, now we'll kill you. Because I don't think I can survive one more. I'm actually kind of nervous now because I don't want to get hit. <laughs> Alright, anyway, enough fun for right now. Grab the Megasphere, boost you back up to 200% health and armor. Now these two areas will open up with, you know, rockets and bullets and stuff, so grab those. And then there's also some shells back where the revenants came from, so we can stock back up on shotgun shells. Basically just grab all the uh, ammo around this area, and we're done. So let's just exit this map. That is the crypt. Yeah, I... hmm. It's not that difficult of a map, really. I mean, as you saw by the end of it, I allow the archvial to, you know tag me twice, because I had so much health to spare. Um, there's not a whole lot of enemies in this map either, but there... There can be some trouble spots. The area at the beginning with the four mancubi, that can really hurt sometimes. And I don't think I took much damage in that area, because, you know, I used the torches to my advantage. The ending's probably the toughest spot. Um, well, actually, also the area with that arch vial that raises up from the blood. Yeah, that, but that was because I was being stupid, and I accidentally pressed number five instead of number four, like the idiot I am. But, um, aside from that, aside from the ending, and that arch vial raising up from the blood, and the start with the four mancubi, this whole map is a breeze, and you shouldn't have any problems with it whatsoever. It's not like speed, where, it, you know, you had to take it slow. This map, you know, you can go at your own pace. And it's really, it's really an enjoyable map. It's definitely probably in my top 10, I'd say. Quite potentially in my top 10 favorite Plutonium maps, though I'm not sure. I'd have to sit down and analyze the information and stuff of that sort. But anyway, I'm going on a tangent here. 
And um, that's it for the crypt. We'll move on to map 14, Genesis, in the next video. I'm Big Mac Davis, and um, yeah, I'll see you next time, everybody. <laughs> uh, take care of yourselves.